Hey everyone, and welcome to yet another Craft a DM video. I'll be going over adversarial DMing. Now, as stated in previous videos, there are many other ways to play D&D. Some of these ways include an adversarial game where it's the DM versus the players. Now, I'm not bashing people who play like that, because almost every DM at some point does this, and I believe that it's quite healthy to do so as well. It's how far you take it that matters. Some say that you can't really win at D&D, but if you say that, then you subscribe to the idea that you also can't lose at D&D. To win, there has to be a lose option or a lose condition. It's simple logic. Now, some will also say that if you had fun, then you've won. It's true in a certain aspect. You've emotionally won, but mechanically you may have lost. So, let's explore three DMing styles with this scenario. The group learns of a group of cultists that are planning on bringing back some evil within a week. There are clues that lead them to their destination, layers to fight in, and a final location where the ritual takes place. If they fail, a great plague is released upon the land. Their goal is to stop it from happening. Pretty standard fare, right? So first up, we have the Care Bear. The Care Bear drops their players into a situation and gives them options that they can pursue. This Care Bear lets them know that they have about a week before shit goes down. The party dilly-dallies and they search for clues, with no repercussions for failures. They arrive a day or two late to the ritual, but find out it's still going on and there's a climactic battle that takes place. The DM pulls punches and rolls secretly for the big bad and the players defeat this evil and the adventure ends with everyone happy. The players didn't die and they save the realm and the DM told their story. Now we have the hybrid DM. This DM is a mixture of the Care Bear and adversarial DMing. This DM has the players uncover a secret from an intro side quest the party just did. There's evil foot and it's going to be really bad in about a 10 day or so. The party searches for clues that are left easily obtainable but do take time. The hybrid DM informs them that there is little time left but perhaps there are ways to get to the final location faster and provides them a way. Like the Care Bear DM, he makes them appear at a critical point in the ritual and a cinematic battle takes place. No punches are pulled though, at least through fudged rolls. Maybe the evil consumes 1d4 enemies if the party is having trouble as part of the ritual. In the end, a player might die or the whole party might die, but there's a good chance they survived and defeated the evil for now. The players felt challenged and they had fun, but didn't truly feel that it was going to be the end for their character. The DM told his story and everyone had a good time with the battles. Lastly, there's the adversarial DM. This DM has the party find out the situation much like the hybrid did. There are clues to be found and they are obtainable, but they also take a certain amount of time. The party can fail a couple of times or take time interrogating people, but the days pass and they arrive just a day late. On their way to where they're supposed to go, the ground shakes, the sky darkens, and they realize that they are too late. This adventure just got longer, and they've also failed in one adventure. Did they still have fun? Yes. Did they lose? Also yes. However, a new adventure and other opportunities may arise from this failure. The next time, though, will be life or death as they confront the great evil themselves. There's three rules I would use on how to be a good adversarial DM. The first one being, don't throw something at the party if you're not prepared to accept the consequences. Second one is, build fair and play for keeps. Third, stand by your decisions. The first rule is pretty simple. Anything that puts something in your world in danger on a failure, that thing is lost. Whether it be a magic item, NPC, or town, just be prepared to lose it. Sometimes it's the party itself that you may lose. This goes into the second rule. Build fair, but also play for keeps. Don't plan five encounters in a row that are a very high difficulty against the player's group. Don't make every skill challenge nigh impossible. This is asshole DMing, and that's not what this is about. However, do play in a hard encounter after a few normal encounters, or every now and again throw in a high DC trap or skill challenge. The last rule is really simple. Simply stand by your decisions. 
you set a DC for a skill, so now you will uphold it. If you build a hard encounter after a series of normal ones and a player character just happens to die, then he or she will die. Now they can be resurrected later if the party survives or escapes, or they can just roll up a new character. But do stand by your decisions. Now you get into a reason why it's hard to be an adversarial DM. It's very emotional. You probably like the players that you're playing with, and you probably like their characters, and you don't want to see them die. And so you fudge a dice, or you take an enemy out through some BS excuse. You know, it happens, and that's quite alright. There's nothing wrong with that. But being an adversarial DM is hard to do. And it's hard to do it because there's a fine line that you have to walk. You're either going to be too care bearish, you know, and become more of a hybrid DM, or you'll be an asshole GM, you know? There's two ways it can go, so it's very hard to find that balance. But once you do, I think it's going to be very rewarding for you. That being said, you don't have to. Find your style and go with it. So there you have it. Three types of DMing styles and how to be a better adversarial DM. Personally, I feel that I'm more of a hybrid DM that leans slightly towards adversarial DMing. Take a moment to see where you might stand and how you can be better at it. Comment down below if additional thoughts that you may have or topics that you would like to see covered in the next Craft a DM video. Also, check out my Facebook page and fill out the survey that's linked in one of the posts if you have the time. That's all for now, everyone. Take care.